right, hello wine drinking people. Today is Saturday, the 23rd of April. Wow, man, this year is just flying by. And that's what happens when you're drinking as much as we do, man. The time just seems to go by. And drinking the world's greatest wines is a difficult task. And let me tell you, we just got a great deal on one of the top wineries in Oregon, Van Duzer, which uh, this winery has been around since the 90s. And I have to say, you know, on my first trip to Oregon, I'll never forget. It's been a long time. I was there for the IPNC, one of the greatest wine shows uh, you could ever go to. It's centered around McMinnville College, so a really small focus group, 500 Pinot Noir lovers from around the world. And, uh, you know, the Oregon wine industry isn't that old. When you look at it, it wasn't until the 70s that people started to take them seriously. Uh, that's when uh, Mr. Druin, uh, Joseph Druin from France, from Burgundy, went over and, uh, well, he, he did a tasting with uh, uh, this 1975 South Block Pinot Noir from Erie Vineyards and Blind. This wine beat a lot of top-level Burgundies, and that will get the attention of uh, the wine world. So he decided to go over to America and see what was going on in the Willamette Valley and uh, liked what he saw, so Domain Druin uh, appeared shortly after. And, hey, when you have someone from Burgundy, a big name from Burgundy, move in next door to you, your property value goes up immediately. We've got several vintages of this Van Duzer wine in the store. That's right. We've got some older vintage stuff and hey, fine wine gets better as it gets older. Well, sometimes it gets cheaper as it gets older too. This 2005 Homestead Block, one of the few single vineyard wines that they do here. Uh, this is a 82 acre property. They got 32 different blocks and the Homestead, one of the most distinct and unique blocks on the property. This 2005, well, the new release came out at $60 a bottle. We have this for $26.50. And you know, one of the reasons one of the reasons Oregon wines well, took a little while to gain some traction. Well, just like in Burgundy, the vintages are very different. This 2005 vintage now drinking at or near its peak still has some lovely light red berry fruit to it. Uh, silky smooth tannins, lovely freshness, some lovely brown spice, some truffle aroma, some earthy notes really starting to come out now that this wine is over 10 years. If you like vintage wine, like I said, this wine is a steal at 26.15. Hey, we've got some 2008 still on the shelf. This was a warm year. The wine's very voluptuous and rich, and we also have some 2011 on the shelf. Very dramatically different from the 2008. This was a very cool year. The wine's very lean and racy, and uh, a lot of nice spice to them, though. But like I said, Pinot Noir, to me, the ultimate expression not only of the terroir of the vintage. You got one of Oregon's best here. We got some vintage wines on here. Like I said, at 50% of the cost of the new release, a uh, great deal, but we only got seven cases. That's the thing with Pinot. A lot of times, um, even when you get a deal on them, you only get a few cases. So check it out. Everything we've got in the store on one of Oregon's top small producers, Van Duzer. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying, remember, Always drink the good stuff first.